Nathan fell head over heels for her. That's how everything started. <gasps> Nathan is a classy guy from the Silver family. As usual, he fell asleep reading about the Silver Skater. Every morning, Nathan admires his medals. No, he doesn't finish first. He always waits at the finish line so he can get silver. That's how he saw Jules for the first time. And won yet another silver medal. Jules is obsessed with gold. She doesn't sleep very well since she uses gold bars as a bed. But that doesn't mean she's not the boss of her own life. If Jules wants to win, she'll definitely win. Look at all her gold medals. That's the proof. Just like Nathan, she spends every morning admiring her trophies. Just like you'd expect from Silver, Nathan is serious about hygiene. He brushes his teeth every morning, with normal toothpaste first, hey. and then he turns it into silver toothpaste to make his teeth shine. Wow! Nathan has an amazing smile yeah. and an amazing look in general. <laughs> Jules is consistent. Every morning, she makes herself look like a real gold bar. Her smile has to shine! And she has to exude wealth and charm! That day, Nathan saw the girl from the marathon again! And he couldn't stop looking at her! She was pure gold! A real treasure! Nathan fell head over heels for her! He pulled himself together and decided to go talk to her. His approach was pretty classy. Even though it looks like she doesn't feel the same way. Actually, she likes Nathan too. That's how everything started. Nathan is taking things seriously. So he's going to give Jules a treat. First, the silver in the plate put her on edge. But the bar of gold chocolate fixed things. So Nathan asked Jules out. And she said yes. The movie theater is a good idea for a first date. Jules and her gold ticket didn't have any trouble. But Nathan's silver ticket is under suspicion of being fake. The guard has heard of golden tickets, but never silver ones. Jules won't abandon him. She passes him her ticket behind the guard's back. The guard was too suspicious that day and decided to check Nathan with a metal detector. Yeah, precious metals don't get along so well with those. It's making so much noise. At first, it might seem like the accessories are the problem. So Nathan had to take everything off. But what do you do if you're precious yourself? All Jules and Nathan can do is find a different date idea. The guard won't ruin their date. The alternative they found is a haunted house. Fear brings people together. This place is so creepy. Jules is so stressed. But Nathan is in a silly mood. He wants to show Jules how brave he is. But to be honest, he's just as scared. You know who a vampire shouldn't attack? Someone with silver in their blood. Nathan wins hands down. And their adventure is over. Even though their emotions were all over the place, they had fun. Yes, even though it doesn't look like it. 
A year later, Jules and Nathan are still together. Actually, they are married. Jules is eating gold french fries. And she wants Nathan to try some. But Nathan is silver. He can't. Jules insists. Her husband has to try her favorite treat. Maybe a silver fork will help him? Nathan tries it. And to his surprise, it really is delicious. Marriage is all about compromises. And sometimes the compromises are really nice. Jules feels sick. She looks sick too. After seeing his wife like this, Nathan forgets all about the good news he wanted to tell her. The reason she's like this is because the price of gold has dropped. That's very serious. And no wonder she's upset. But now is the best time to tell her the good news. See? The price of silver has gone up. Jules feels better right away. She's so happy to hear it. And now she really wants to go shopping. <gasps> Two years later, Nathan and Jules' life has changed a lot. Because they are having a baby. Nathan is so caring. Every morning, he wakes up his wife and brings her a glass of water. With added silver, of course. That's good for an expecting mother. Looks like Jules and Nathan are living in harmony. Soon the world will see the result of their true love. Getting ready for a baby is a crucial part of every young couple's life. Jules came back from shopping with all kinds of cute things. She even found a gold pacifier! And a gold bottle, of wow. course! Nathan is busy, too! He bought a roll of silver! Jules is a little confused about why their baby needs that! Nathan explains what it's for! <gasps> silver diapers are the best thing! For a newborn! Jules and Nathan have something else they need to do. They need a stroller. Jules chooses gold, and Nathan wants silver. Well, time to compromise. They'll have to find something they both like. A gold stroller with silver gloves. It's nice to sit and think. Jules and Nathan are imagining what their baby will be like. Jules really wants a girl. She'll be like a queen, dripping in gold and treasures. Nathan really wants a boy, so he'll grow up like his favorite superhero, the Silver Skater. Nathan is a little childish because if his son doesn't become the Silver Skater, maybe he can become the Terminator. Jules doesn't like that idea. Maybe their kid can become a jeweler and work with gold and silver. This is one of the happiest days of Jules and Nathan's life. The doctor is about to tell them if it's a boy or a girl. They are so nervous. Who's it going to be? A silver girl? A gold boy? But the child wasn't gold or silver. They are having a totally normal baby girl. Their daughter is the perfect compromise. Now they need to think of a baby name. To keep from fighting, they are going to let fate decide. Jules pulled out the name Goldie, but it doesn't fit the baby. Nathan got the name Silver, but their daughter isn't silver or gold. We need a better option. Jules and Nathan think for a while, then show each other their choices. They agree on the perfect name, Treasure, because their daughter is the most precious thing in the world to them. It's perfect! When Treasure was born, nothing else mattered anymore. 
Nathan saw his second place medals. But Jules thinks he deserves to be first. Because he won the most important race in his life by making Jules happy. What did you think of Jules and Nathan's story? What was your favorite part of the video? Tell us in the comments! And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Troom Troom Trick!